St. Marie Innovation Center. And uh, we, along with our U-Launch division, have partnered with uh, Science North and all of the wonderful exhibitors that you're going to see here today uh, to bring you ARTI, which stands for our Advanced Research Technology Innovation Expo. And so we do this to give uh, students across Sault Ste. Marie and Algoma a chance to learn about all the cool science that's happening right here in the north. I want you to tell me after if you think it's a chemical or a physical reaction that happens. <laughs> this will turn on, and every time I shake this, you see that the counter increments. So every time I take a step, it'll count my steps. And building something like this, they look this way so that they can be camouflaged from other species, from predators, because everybody wants to eat a snowshoe hare. Owls and foxes and other species all really want to eat these. And so this is what they'll look like in the middle of winter. I've got another example here. This is what it looks like as it's getting closer to winter. You can see how there's some brown in there. Simulate the inside of a snake's mouth or some predator's mouth. But that's how they survive and hide from predators. Now this species actually is the Guinness Book World Record for holding on to the and laying the largest egg of any insect. And if you guys see, I'm going to turn her side. Our campsite that could spread invasive species. This for our camping trip. No, you can't use that wood. Why? Because we should buy wood where we burn it. Wood can be filled with invasive species like emerald ash borers or other insects. We have these little tiny things called otoliths or ear bones within the fish. They're these little circular things and they, and they can vibrate when sound hits the fish. And the fish can detect that uh, in connection with these little hair cells. Uh,